everybody, it's Christy and Nancy from Tales of the Ravenous Reader, and look who we have with us today, Margaret Stoll. So we're very excited to have her here with us. Yes. Hi guys. We stole her for just a bit before. You Margaret stole her. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. So we're here today to talk a little bit about Royce Rolls, which is a behind the scenes look of a reality TV show, which yeah. is, we both finished on audio yesterday. Love so it. good. So cute. Yeah. yeah. It was so really, really good. good. It's yeah. really good. Really, really good. Um, I was telling people I thought it was really similar to how um, Lippa Bray does her audiobooks. It was kind of the characterizations were oh, really good. Very cool. So it was really fun. So um, we were curious about your inspiration. You know, I've never listened to any of my books on audio. Really? Not even your beautiful creatures ones? Because that guy was awesome. Was he? Mm -hmm. I heard that. The yeah. Kevin guy? Yeah. Can no, really never. I never knew because it's very so good. <laughs> It freaks me out. Oh. Well, I guess it wouldn't be as bad if you were reading them and you kind of know what it's going to sound like. I like, like audiobooks, just not mine. <laughs> That's funny. That's good to know about you. My inspiration was Los Angeles. Yes. This is a comic uh, satire, if you will, yes. about a failing reality television show family. I was watching TV, or it was the internet, I don't even remember one morning, and I saw something about Kim Kardashian, like, getting a facial for her butt or something like that. <laughs> it, there was something about a butt and a face or her dog's butt. I don't remember. And I thought, oh my God, what would I do if I was born into that family? I would be terrible. I am unpresentable. I say the wrong thing all the time. I don't like to have my picture taken. So here you go. There. I was like, I would be a, just a nightmare. And then I thought, actually, that's kind of funny. Like, what a bad reality television star I would be. So basically, I started writing about a reluctant member of a reality television family who desperately wants the show to go off the air so she can go to college. I thought that was great. Yeah. That was such a great, like, a good reason for it, right? Yeah. And it starts off with such a bang, like, it starts off with a car going up a cliff, right? Like, yeah. that's such an interesting concept. I like a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciate that. Um, were there specific characters that inspired the characters in the story? Well, you know, it's Los Angeles, so oh. like, we see it all the time. Um, Jennifer Garner was a mom at was a mom at my kid's school. You'd see the paparazzi parked outside and trying to get a picture of her in her witch's hat at Halloween. No. <laughs> you know, they're all every where we get our coffee is where you see Reese Witherspoon and all. You know, like you just can't swing a dead cat without hitting one of them. So that's kind of sort of um, reporting in from life among the, you know, the the sort of celebrities in LA, and it was. It was just what a difference that is from my regular life. That's sort of the fun. That's where the comedy is. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, it it's is really, really, funny. it really is. Enjoyable, well, I don't get yeah. to do this very much. I think people who see me in person know I'm kind of lively mm -hmm. in person, but I never get to like really do that. I know you wrote a you wrote a paranormal. You write comics, which is like a little bit snarky. Yeah. You know, you wrote dystopian. comic. Yeah, dystopian. You wrote comic book. You know, based on comic book characters. No, but this I mean, is big, great. it's not really a big genre for YA, so I never really get to do it. So I was, this was sort of my response to Where'd You Go, Bernadette, in a certain way. Okay. And um, that's what Mel said. She was like, It's clueless, and Where'd You Go, Bernadette. I was like, Kind of, that's about right. Yeah. But so it's a fun thing to get to do. And I really just, I started writing it as a joke. I would send chapters to my friend Mel for fun. Great. Like, well, just to crack myself up. Yeah. Still on, oh. yeah, still on. Say hi to Saba, hi. who's joining us tonight. I just need my blog tour. <laughs> Hello, blog people. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Sorry. She's a, she's oh, a natural. Really, really embarrassing. You're fine. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Well, thank you oh, both. Thanks. We'll let you get into the event later. There's like people problem. showing yeah. up, so, so yeah, thank so you. Check out Roots Rolls. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.